Okay, welcome to uh, deciphering the Cooperative Education Student Handbook. So uh, this is actually your safety contract slash uh, uh, work contract with your employer that we will keep on hand after you get it back to us, but only after it's been filled out appropriately. So first of all, you want to put on here the appropriate information once you know it. Um, and then if we step inside to the document, there are actually uh, five pages that you need to read and talks about what you're supposed to fill out down here um, and, you know, your, what you're supposed to do. Um, and then these are the pages that you are supposed to read. So first page and then second page. Parents are supposed to read this also. Um, and your employer, too, is supposed to read this document. Uh, these five pages, if you like. Um, so, again, this is the fourth page, and then the last page, which is here. Um, the next uh, important page that needs filling out is right here. So here you're going to put your name up top, and then you're going to sign it, and you're going to date it. And then right here, your, your parents are going to uh, put their name. They're going to execute all of this uh, here and then they're going to sign down at the bottom saying they've done all these things and they're going to date it and then um, uh, once that's done then your teacher whoever that is Mr. Coop or I or Mr. Van Coop will uh, sign here and date this um, and we'll get the principal to sign it. Um, this is actually your work contract so your work education agreement with your employer so First thing you're going to do is fill this out. So up top, and what date you filled it out in, were the district school of Niagara. Uh, you put your name here, an address, and home phone number, postal code, all of the information that's your personal information. This section right here is where the employer fills out. So make sure that when your employer fills the booklet out, that before you leave and get this booklet from them, that all of this information has been filled in by the employer. And then this is where the teacher will fill in the document down here. Um, uh, and you can put some of that information in. You know the, the school and the address and uh, the phone number and the postal code. You can get those off the internet if you can't find them or you don't know them. And then the teacher will figure out who's assigned to you uh, and fill that in for you. Uh, down here is uh, when you're working from and to. So you're starting, say, September the 15th and you're going to work to January the 29th of 2021. Um, this is where you write what you're doing. So if you're a, a, you know, a dishwasher, you would fill that out in here. Um, placement hours are uh, what times you're going to be working. So you need to discuss that with your employer. So maybe it's 8 to 4 or you know 7 to 3, whatever those hours happen to be. And then this is the date, so Monday to Friday. Um, or if it's uh, something else, then make sure you put the specific days of the week that you're going to be working here. Um, lastly is your uh, WSIB or Worker Safety Insurance Board uh, insurance coverage. And uh, most of you are not going to be paid, so the Ministry of Education covers that. So you check this box right here. If you are being paid at your co-op, then your employer has to cover that and you check that box over there. Um, lastly, and most importantly, this has to be signed by everyone. So look, there's you, there's your parent, there's the, the supervisor of your placement. That's where you're going to be working your job. And then the teacher, once everything is filled in the booklet appropriately. Um, the next section covers the specific safety requirements for um, your workplace. So your employer has to read this over and fill it out. Um, much of it is not um, meaningful depending on the type of job that you have, um, but it does need to be uh, filled out and uh, NA means that it's not applicable to that particular um, job. So there are five pages of that or so, and the most important one is here at the back end. So once all of this has been filled out by your employer, you need to make sure that um, they put their name here so printed so we can read it. They have to make sure that the book has been reviewed with you and uh, you're going to check that too. 
um, and also that they understand their responsibilities. And then lastly down here, they're going to put their um, signature, the date, their email, and their phone number. That's critical so that we have information to put into our republic so we can track your hours. And then lastly, if it's all filled out appropriately, um, then it will be reviewed with you by a teacher and they will sign this and date this and the booklet is then complete. Um, and we keep the booklet on file uh, so that if anything does happen, all of the appropriate information is on hand. All right, I hope that that makes sense and that the booklet gets filled out properly. Thanks, bye.